Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Kayla's Curls video. So, yep, the time has come. The girl wants to make a change. So I decided that I'd buy these hair dyes from Walmart. They were about $13 each. Now, a fun fact is I actually used to love using this brand to dye my hair back in the day. This is what it looks like. This is what the other one looks like. Um, so now you're probably wondering what am I doing with two different colors. Well, I did want to originally just use this one, but they only had one. So then I decided to, you know, get this one because this is kind of a similar color. What I can do is I can actually mix all the colors together. I just needed a change. Like my hair just needed to be changed. I just wanted to do something different. Well, what I'm going to do tonight before I go to bed is I'm going to be um, co-washing my hair. I'm going to be using this Aussie Miracle Volume Conditioner. And this is the with bamboo and Australian kakadu plum. I am going to use something a little bit stronger this time around. See if I can find my shampoos. I have a lot of stuff up here, you guys. Like this is like a mini store up here in my closet, you guys. But let me get a shampoo. I'm actually going to use this one. I'm going to use this shampoo by Head & Shoulders. I would use the Dippity Doo ones, but I don't want to use that one. And I would also use the Dove one that I actually like to use. But I'll show you guys what it looks like. Yeah, I have a lot of hair products, guys. But this is one that I actually like to use. But it has shampoo and conditioner. I'm already going to be like pre-pooing first with this so I can detangle because... You guys, my hair has been in this bun for a while, so I need to detangle ASAP. And I'm just going to use this brush here to detangle. So, empty ways. Yeah, guys, you guys are going to be on this journey to a different change. Hopefully, it looks good. I'm hoping I might mix it or I might do, like, something different where I do, like, half, like, a different color. Or, like, maybe even a little ombre. We'll see. So... I'm going to be thinking about that tonight. So, yeah, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and do all that stuff tonight. So, let me just get some sleep soon. So, I will see you guys in a bit. Good morning, guys. So, it's the next day and I'm ready to bleach my hair. After I washed and conditioned my hair and I just flat twisted it. But I just decided to take it out and put it into like four different sections. That way it's easier to apply like the bleach to my hair. So I have the boxes here. I also have um, a plastic bag because I want my hair to, you know, I want it to be nice. I want it to pick up the color. So this will just help to, you know, penetrate the color into the hair. So anyways, I have both of the boxes here ready. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna need both of the bleaches. I'm not sure yet. But I guess we'll see. So I'm going to open up this one and see what's on the inside. So you always want to have um, directions. So here's the purple color, or what's it called? The Lusty Lavender. It's that color. This is like the liquid for the bleach. And this is like the powder. So I have to mix these two together. So I do have the directions. Um, I just wanted to know like if I have to apply it to my roots first or to my ends first or something. All right, everyone. So I turned on the light and I actually changed my shirts. So yes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start from the bottom to the top. It's easier that way. So I'm just gonna start by taking out this twist. So yeah, my hair is pretty much elongated, nice and dry. 
So let's get ready. Let's start by first putting on some gloves. So the first step is to put on the gloves. So now I have the bleach um, here. The first thing you have to do is to prep. It says prefix the models outside of it. Yeah. Okay, so it says to take this off first, this part here. So um, I'm just supposed to do this. Break it off. It's like um, I might need scissors for this, you guys. Okay, so I took the nozzle off finally. That was like one hard piece of nozzle. And now I have to open this. Open it up. I'm just going to open it a little. And then I'm going to take the bleach. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to like kind of make it go on one side so that it only goes on one side. Now I'm going to open this up fully. And take the powder. Just kind of bend this out a little. Now I'm gonna put it in here without spilling on the floor. Is why I made the whole small in my hand. I don't like bleach powder. Tight and then it's it says mix for, for two, one to two minutes. It's been a while, I haven't done my hair in a while, so I think I deserve it. My hair's all brown now, so I gotta do something different, you know? I just hope it's all worth it. Um, oh, okay. So some already just came out. I'm just gonna put it in my hair. <laughs> so all I'm just gonna really do is I'm just gonna apply it to my hair. Um, there's nothing really special. I'm just gonna really try not to get it all over the place. So I'm just gonna kind of go like that. Just put it in my hands. With both hands. And then just apply from ends first. So I think that um dyeing hair is crazy, but I'm excited to see something different. I'm gonna start this side. The back is like pretty much almost done being coated. But let's just keep trying. I'm gonna get all the bottom halves with this bleach here. And as you can see, it's kind of turning a little light brown. So the back is like almost done. Now I'm gonna have to open this one. So I'm going to cover this, you know, pretend don't want it to process too quickly, we'll cover up for a bit, make sure these edges are done, put this plastic bag on now.
All right, so the bleach is in. My hair is getting colored. I'm gonna leave it covered so it can work a little bit faster because I do not want to keep this in my hair too long. So it says to uh so it says to leave it in for about 30 minutes so i'm gonna leave it in for about that so i'm gonna be back in about i'm gonna give it actually 25 minutes and then i'll be back and then we will move on to the next step which i'm gonna have to wash and condition and then let it dry again and then come back and do the color I just hope these are enough because these bottles look so small. Like this one is a three ounce one and then this is a 1.5 fluid ounce one. So hopefully this works and looks good. You know what I mean? And I hope that this fits the hole in my head because my head is big. My hair is thick so we'll see. And I'll probably even twist it again after it's done like turning blonde. So yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead, let my hair get blonde, and I'll be back to show you guys what I do next. Okay guys, so my hair is like almost done. There's just a couple spots that actually need a lot more time, which is just like a bit here and a bit here. So I'm just gonna give it about 10 more minutes. Guys, this is my son is looking at me like I'm crazy, but guys, ah, it's already bleeding. So I'll come back on when I'm about to hop in just to give you guys a quick look, and then I'll be back when I shampoo. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair now. Um, let me give you guys a little back view. So I'm gonna go in now. I need to get to sell my hair and rinse it out. Shampoo, conditioner. I'm not gonna comb my hair with the conditioner. I'm just gonna retwist it and then I'll be back for you guys. So I'll see you guys. Alright guys, so please don't mind my face. I just washed it. But this is how it's looking, you guys. It's like a orange type of blonde type of color. Um it's different, you know. I'm gonna have some light and dark parts here, so that's what it looks like. She's gonna put like four twists so that when I'm ready to do the color, my hair will be stretched out. So, all right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead, like I said, I'm gonna let it dry for the day. And then I'll come back and show you guys me applying the purple. So, I'll be back guys in a couple of hours for you guys. That'll be two seconds. Right, guys, so it's been like a couple of hours. I literally took a nap. Um, what I did was my hair was twisted in the four twists, but it was taking forever to dry. So I just ended up taking them out halfway through and I just let it air dry. So now I think I'm ready to put the purple color in now. So what I'm going to do is section in four again. And I'm also going to be using petroleum, aka Vaseline, to put around my edges and on my ears and stuff. Because the worst thing, you guys, is getting hair color on your skin. Trust me, I learned. I remember when I dyed my hair, like, six, seven years ago, um... I got red all over here and I had to literally call in sick from work because the red was not coming off so that's what we're gonna do right now so here I just have regular Vaseline there's not much in here so I'm just gonna use it I'm gonna like focus on like the edges where I don't want the red to be and don't worry guys, if you are concerned about it getting on your face, you guys can wipe it away. But I just don't want no color on my face at all. On my edges, I'm gonna put it on my ear. And behind my ear. And like 
on my neck too. So here's the color. I'm most likely just gonna go for the purples because that's actually what I really want. The blue I might save for like a future day if I wanna like maybe dye my ends or something. I'll probably do that. But for now, I'm gonna try and keep it with the purple. So I'm gonna try my best to get as much for it all around my hair. Only this color, really, this lavender color. So we'll see how it looks. And I'll look at myself one time. Say bye to the blonde. I'm gonna shake it and now I'm gonna open it. These things are really hard to open, but I prefer this. I remember when they used to package their hair dyes, you'd have to use some. I'm gonna get rid of that quickly, guys, because that is not what we want. There you guys, see? I already got purple skin. So let's just work this in. This is the first half. I'm gonna start now by applying the purple. Ooh, woo. Yeah, baby, look at that. All right, let's apply it. Ooh, baby, ooh, look at that color, you guys. Mm -hmm. And I just love it so much better that, you know, you could actually see the color when it comes on to like having the bleached hair. Ooh, baby, I think we might have enough for the whole head with this bottle, we'll see. Hopefully I don't get it all over my skin or anywhere else. Just working slowly in there, making sure to get it in there. Okay, so I'm gonna put like the other purple afterwards, but I'm gonna make sure I get everywhere else. See if I didn't get over here, I'm gonna have to get there. This is how it looks. Hopefully the back is nice and coated. Now I'm gonna open the purple stars one. Oh, it looks like it might be the same color to be honest. I don't know. And I'm gonna focus that mainly around the ends because both sides. Mmm, this purple stars one smells amazing. And I may even put just a little bit of the blue because this is only like half of what I was using the first time. So, okay. So as you guys can see, this is going to be stained, definitely. And my arms are going to be stained. But if you're like me and you know how to get rid of it, it should not be a problem. It just will take a little while to get rid of. Alright, so I think that's pretty much it for the purple. I'm actually going to put some of the blue in. See how that looks. I'm just going to focus like the blue towards like the ends of it in here. So it's like purple on top, a little blue on the ends, so that the color can stick to my hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this and I'm going to put my hair like this. I'm just kind of like do that. Hi. 
for about an hour. That's what you did. So once done, I'll show you guys in the washroom. Um, I'll wash it with the same stuff and also I might deep condition a bit. And then I'm going to do like a twist out. So see you guys in about an hour to 45 minutes. My crazy looking hands. Okay guys, so I'm finally out of the shower. This is how it's looking so far. Um, like I said, I do have like some stains on my face. But that's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix like rubbing alcohol with, um, with soap and stuff. I just I, like literally researched how to get rid of it off your skin. But yeah, there's like a, a piece of like blonde hair, but whatever. The hair color still came out good, y'all. This is how it looks right now. I actually personally really like the blue and the purple together. It looks really good so far. So this is how it looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a little twist out. So I'm going to do that with you guys. So yeah, like I said, just a bit here is a little blonde still, but it's not that bad. It looks really good so far. I'm just going to section. Ah. So I'm going to do a little twist out for today. To get a cute style in. And I did deep condition in the shower. I left some of the conditioner in my hair. Mom? So that my hair Mom? couldn't get the moisture back. And so that I could do a little twist out today. And yeah. The thing with colored hair is that it bleeds a lot. So I kind of want my hair to dry before the night ends. Because I do not want my pillow or my sheets and stuff turning blue. Yeah, guys, dyed hair, new me, who this? It's time for a change, and I'll see you guys in a bit. I have to get this blue off my hands. It looks crazy. I'm looking like a Smurfette or like a blueberry that's about to blow up. But see you guys soon. And then I forgot to show you guys that I did braid my hair. So I kind of just did like four braids and then I just like left out like a little piece out like this and just like defined it with like some leave-in conditioner and then that's how I left my hair for like the night. I just want to fix my hair. The purple ran out of course you guys saw in the earlier clips so I did have to go and buy a Manic Panic um, hair dye cream and this is in the color ultraviolet so that's what that looks like so I do I am gonna apply that to my hair because um, something I didn't show you guys is that I did forget some spots so here's one part I forgot some spots in the back so I am gonna be fixing and correcting those areas because I have OCD guys and I am NOT I want my hair to look good. If you guys can't tell, I still have stains. And I did put Vaseline on my edges and everything. And it's stained. So I was actually watching a, a hair dye video like the other day. And they used conditioner. And they didn't have any stains like how I do. So I want to see if this will work for me. So I'm just going to use this like Aussie Miracle conditioner. I hope it doesn't matter. So I'm going to do that. I do have some gloves. I have two pairs just in case one rips like the last time because my glove ripped the last time and this was a stain. That was not fun at all. So this time I'm just going to be using these ones and these are medical ones so hopefully they fit okay and work out fine. I'm already having problems again with the pinky so i just want to like fix up my hair and i think i'm just going to do the whole thing see how it turns out type thing and i'm going to kind of like do layers so what i have here is like a comb i don't really care for this comb so i'll just section and apply slowly in each 
part where the braids are. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just using some conditioner, putting it all around my scalp area. So I'm just gonna show you guys like the first like application. I'm just gonna like kind of speed through. I don't really I kind of gave you guys like earlier an idea of how I apply my dye, but with this way it's gonna be different. Like as you guys can see, there's like blue here, so I'm obviously gonna leave the blue here, and yeah, I'm gonna leave the blue. So I'm just going to take my rat tail comb and I am looking in my mirror. You guys will be able to see the back. So I'll just start by taking a piece like so. Just use the hair tie. So now I'm going to go into this Manic Panic. And this is the ultraviolet. That's how that color looks. It's super pretty. And I'm just going to start with like that much. I'm going to start bottom okay so now I apply and I am looking at myself in the mirror and I'm trying my best not to get like hair dye on blue so I kind of like drag down a bit so it like has like an ombre effect okay I'm trying my best not to get purple on the ends. Same thing. Start by puffing. Okay, so there's one section. Okay. So as you can see, I got some on my face, but. So now I'm just going to leave this section alone and I'm going to do this back section and then I'm going to come back to you guys. So, yeah. I'll be back. <laughs> okay guys, so all I really did was I just applied like how I did the back and this is how it looks so far. It looks really, really so much better than how it looked the first time and this part is just can I tie it in the back? So I'm gonna keep this on for like another maybe hour, maybe not even that, maybe 45 minutes. It's like 5.40 now. So I'll probably take it off at like 6.30 and then I'll come back, show you guys how it looks. And then I'll shampoo and condition and I might even do a braid out. So that's what I'm thinking of doing because I like how the blue looks with this braid out you guys like doesn't look so nice and i love it i can't wait to see how my hair turns out so i'll be back in another 45 minutes or so so brb okay guys so it's like time for me to go in the shower now and wash this out but it's been about 45 minutes since i last did a video clip with you guys so let me show you guys a whole 360 so that's how it's looking so now I'm gonna go in the shower I'm gonna use the same shower that I used in the beginning I'm gonna use a different conditioner I'm actually gonna use this Aussie Miracle waves conditioner that's how that one looks and this one is the with the kakadu plum and Australian hemp hemp seed extract. All right, guys. So it's been like a couple hours since I washed my hair. So as you guys can see, it's definitely different than how it looked um, when I first started. When I finished, um, so this is how it looks right now. Um, I just let it get dry for most part of the day. Um, I did end up getting a little bit busier than I anticipated, so, yeah. I don't know if I can show you guys the back because this chair, but I'm actually doing a little bit of it. I'm actually going to just, like, do a braid out. Um, 
And I'm gonna have like a middle part, I guess. Yeah, guys, I think my hair looks way better now. It was such a smart idea to get the manic panic and do that with it because it really did help. So I'm just going to start by doing like the first section for the braid. I'm going to be using the Shea Butter. Um, I always show you guys my Shea Butter and put some moisture back in my hair. I did do like a, a little mini um, deep conditioning treatment. So my hair was like a lot moisturized. Like it's really moisturized right now. So it feels really soft to touch. So I'm just gonna detangle from ends to roots with this brush here. So I'm just gonna do like a couple braids, like maybe three to four on each side. I guess I'll decide how many I wanna do. So now I'm gonna use my Cantu leave-in conditioner and this Shea Butter one. And you can see the blue hair in there from yesterday. I did use it last night in my hair. So I'm only gonna do like one braid with you guys. And then I'm gonna like, yeah, come back when I'm done and then I'll come back tomorrow um, when I take it out. I just do a regular little twist, just like how I usually do. So that's the first braid. So I'm just gonna go ahead and like kind of like speed through. I'm probably gonna do like three on each side. All right guys, so I'm done putting all the braids in. Like I said, I went for three on each side. So this is what it's looking like right now. So I'm going to let this dry overnight and then tomorrow I'm going to come back and um, take them down. Um, I don't know if I want to do that process with you guys. I've given you guys like a little bit of a basic of how I do my braid outs. And if that's something you want to see, I'll put that down in the description box or I'll put it up here on the screen for you guys to check it out. But yeah, so I'll be back. All right guys, so this is how my hair looks right now after my braid out. I just recently took it out and this is a style I decided to go with. As you can see, I kind of have a little top knot and my braid out is half up, half down. So anyways guys, I think this is gonna be the end of this video because it is really long and I wanted to kind of catch the essence of me dyeing my hair this color and so far I'm really in love and really impressed with the results. I can't wait to see the other looks that I come up with for my hair and I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog and this journey with me. It was really fun and it was definitely an experience and definitely brought a lot of memories back and I also got a nice new hairstyle out of it. And I'm really happy and excited. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. Give me a big thumbs up down below. Leave your nice and kind comments down below as well. And if you dyed your hair too, let me know in the comments. I would definitely like to know. Until the next time, peace out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.